Uh, what, what's, the, what's the key for you tomorrow? Uh, this, you know, for you, yeah, yourself. Yeah, for me personally. Yeah. Yeah. I think just being super physical. Um, yeah. Obviously, they have a lot of size, but I feel really lucky. I mean, I played against 6'9 this year. I feel like I've played against just like every single type of post player I possibly could. So they're both like, they're starting five, back and five. They're great post players, both of them, obviously, with the awards and accolades. But I think it's just going to be really physical, um, doing our best to box out, and just really pushing the ball. I think that. Um, our style of basketball might be something that they haven't seen before. Um, we played very dissimilar to anybody in the SEC. I haven't looked at their non-conference, but um, I think it's just going to be a great basketball game, truly. Um, I'm really excited for it. I think so many people are so excited for it, too. I mean, do you? everyone's talking about Caitlin in Boston, but it's you get to go against, yeah. you actually get to go against yeah. the way of Boston. So yeah. what do you, have you found some things? Have you, do you have a I strategy? Just, or? Yeah, I mean, I think just looking at the film, she's just, a, I mean, truly a phenomenal post player, can score well at all facets of her game. Um, so it's just, I mean, truly, it's just going to be physical, kind of disrupting, doing our best to kind of disrupt her game, her natural flow and rhythm. But, I mean, she's a phenomenal basketball player, and phenomenal players are going to score. Like, that's just kind of how, how it is. I mean, we're never going to expect somebody to shut down Caitlin fully. So um, just accepting that and, I mean, being able to move forward if she does go on a little bit of a run. But, um, yeah, I think we all just, we, we're viewing it more as like a team team game, more than it's like me versus Aaliyah in the post or Caitlin versus Aaliyah, which I think is such a, I mean, a silly comparison. Truly, I mean, it's a point guard in the post. It's so hard to compare, but um, I think it's Iowa versus South Carolina more than anything. Yeah, uh, re their rebounding numbers are incredible. Yeah. Number one, how do they do it? And number two, like. Do you have to change anything? I mean, you guys struggle a little bit on the defensive yeah. boards against, uh, what was it, Colorado? Yeah. yeah. I think uh, a big thing for them is it's one through five are crashing. It's not just their four and the five. Obviously, their fours and their fives do a great job of rebounding, but it's going to be a whole team effort to kind of keep them off the boards. But, I mean, if we can equalize possessions, um, it's, it's going to be a good game. It's going to yeah. maybe be able to tip in our favor. So um, I think we're all just super confident in what we can do. And at the end of the day, yeah, this is the final four and all this stuff is happening, but we've gotten this far. We keep saying it just by playing our style of basketball and being ourselves. So, I mean, just sticking true to our formula. Have you guys enjoyed? I mean, I'm sure it's a lot of attention. Yeah. It's a lot yeah, yeah. to take your mind off basketball. Yeah. How have you dealt with both? I mean, I think it's just kind of at the end of the day being really locked in, focused. Uh, we've had some really great practices leading up to this. Um, I think all of us are just, we're so excited for the, the basketball part of all this. Um, there's a lot, I think, that goes on behind the scenes that we didn't really realize when we got here. But um, it, it's really special to be in this experience and just soak it all in. But, I mean, we're here to play basketball and we're excited to do it.